I am Evangel Sujin from Grade 5 Day. Today's morning prayer. Lord God, we pray this morning for the gift of perseverance. Help us to be patient when things are not going right and help us to accept the things which we cannot change. Open our minds and eyes to see that perseverance is rooted in hope. Dispel any discouragement which we may have and replace it with deep faith. We pray for our families and loved ones. Please keep them safe and healthy. Amen. Good morning to one and all. Today's thought. Accept your past without regrets. Handle your present with confidence and face your future without fear. I repeat, accept your past without regrets. Handle your present with confidence and face your future without fear. Thank you and have a nice day. Good morning everyone. I'm not launching a video of grade 18. Today's new word. Word number one. Procrastination. Spelling. P-R-O-C-R-A-S-T-I-N-A-T-I-O-N. I repeat. P-R-O-C-R-A-S-T-I-N-A-T-I-O-N. Meaning. A action of delaying or postponing something. I repeat. A action of delaying or postponing something. Word number two. Belligerent. Spelling. B E L L I G E R E N T. I repeat B E L L I G E R E N T. Meaning hostile or aggressive. I repeat hostile or aggressive. Thank you and have a nice day. Good morning everyone. I'm John Kalakshmi Vinod of Grade 10. Today's news, the top stories. International news. ASEAN objects as China wants Myanmar junta to join summit. A Chinese envoy has lobbied Southeast Asian nations to let Myanmar's military ruler attend a regional summit being hosted by China's president next week, but has met stiff opposition. Diplomatic sources said on Thursday. National news. Bankers must support job creators, says Modi. Prime Minister Narendra Modi on Thursday asked bankers to be more proactive in lending to smaller business and help improve the viability and scale of their borrowers' operations to facilitate the country's leap into the next phase of growth. State news. Malabar pins its hopes on railways. People from Malabar form a large part of the migrant population from Kerala in Bengaluru. There is only one daily train. However, connecting the northern part of the state and the capital city of Karnataka. Sports News India Boyd by Ashwin Bhuvaneshwar Show R. Ashwin's Twitter post on Thursday morning read like a redemption song. It was good to be back playing T20s for India in India with a good crowd cheering on. He tweeted. That's all for today's news. Thank you and have a nice day. Good morning to all. I am Angel Perepadan of Grade 6B. I am here to present a review on the book The Kid Who Came From Space. It is written by Ross Welford, who is an English children's science fiction fantasy author. The story tells us about a small village which is rocked by the disappearance of Tammy, who is a 12 year old girl. Only her twin brother Ethan knows that she is safe and the extraordinary truth of where she is. It is a secret that he must keep or risk never seeing her again. But that doesn't mean he is going to give up. Together with his friend Iggy and the mysterious and very hairy Helian, Ethan is about to go on a nail-biting chase to get the, her sister back. That will take him further than anyone has ever been before. This is a remarkable story of family, friendship and interstellar adventure from one of the brightest stars in children's book. To know more about like how did Aiden save Tammy, where was Tammy and so on, read the book. I refer this book to each and every one of you. Thank you. Good morning everyone, my name is Joshua Park from Grade 7. Today I am going to speak a few words about World Television Day. What do you mean by World Television Day? On 17th December, 
1996, the UN General established 21st November as the World Religion Day. A delusion is a major tool so acknowledged in information, channeling and also affecting the public opinion. A delusion stands for the single largest source of video consumption. In higher screens, people have changed and created post, stream and other kinds of video in higher and different platforms. The idea used in World Television Day is an opportunity to raise awareness about the significant issue encountered by the planet as a global community. A television is a symbol of communication and globalization in the contemporary world. Thank you and have a nice day.